Shop Cider. If you guys are female around the ages of 22 years old, like fashion, you are probably getting their targeted ads just like me. Clearly these ads are working because she has been blowing up, whether I see it from Instagram, a TikTok, other influencers, she has just been everywhere. So for today's video, I really want to get down and dirty and see what cider is all about. I want to see the quality of clothing, see what the prices are, let you guys know my honest opinion on how I feel about cider. Also, I did want to give a shout out to Ariella Yang. She has an amazing video about cider and I did watch her video first and she really inspired me to make this and I was very interested after watching her video so I'll link it down below. I have never personally looked at Cider's website. While I was at my friend Indiana's house she actually got a package for them and opened it in front of me and I will say she had a sweater that was really really cute and I did really want to purchase it. One of the number one things that just kind of made me iffy about Cider is they did send me an email back in December about working with them. No tea, no shade to Cider but I was a little bit off put by this email. They said, hi Cassie, in a collab we'd like to gift you five to six of your favorite pieces from our collection in exchange for a minimum of two TikToks slash reels, two Instagram in-feed posts, and two stories. So here's the thing. I obviously want to be totally honest and transparent with you guys and you guys know I do do sponsorships and collaborations often and a lot of times as an influencer brands will send you free clothing if you post about their brand. Personally for me I will only work with brands like this if I genuinely already love the brand so when they emailed me this I obviously didn't really know a lot about the brand. I'm in no way shape or form trying to uh, brag about this or sound like a first world problem or sound conceited. Ah! I hate it. I hate that. I have worked with other clothing brands such as Revolve and Princess Polly as an example who have gifted me about a thousand to three thousand dollars worth of clothing. Sometimes on top of that they will also offer you a money payment. It is really amazing and I'm so 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 grateful for any time I even get free clothes or paid even. Like I said I will never work with a brand that I don't love and I've already shopped at with my own money. I know Cider is a pretty new brand so they might not have had budget to pay me for these posts and deliverables. I will say only five to six pieces for all of those deliverables is honestly kind of a little bit of a slap in the face if you're asking me. They have a specific link that they sent me that I could choose from. It's called the influencer page and all of the items on here I would say range between $13 to $40. $40 would be actually a lot. I would say more like $30. Let's just say we'll go to the highest. 30 times 6 is $180. I know it sounds ridiculous. $180 worth of free clothes. You're probably like, Cassie, shut the f*** up. As an example, I do work with Revolve and they send me $2,000 worth of clothing items every month for four Instagram pictures it wasn't even the amount of clothing that was more off-putting. It was more the fact that I know where these clothes come from. It's very obvious that Cider is a drop shipping website, which pretty much means that they are a middleman. They buy bulk amounts of clothing from factories that are 99% of the time from China. They put them at a little bit of a higher price and then they sell the product to you, the consumer. I really don't like that. I really try to not shop from drop ship websites. They tend to be extremely unsustainable sustainable for the planet. A lot of the workers and stuff are very mistreated. Totally not trying to slander Cider for being a dropshipping website. Literally so many of our favorite brands and companies are dropshipping websites. So a lot of their stuff I've actually seen on a website called AliExpress, which again is pretty much a wholesale dropshipping fulfillment website. And just to make it clear, I am in no way, shape or form perfect. I have obviously shopped from websites where they are dropshipping. It's really hard to shop sustainable um, without things being extremely expensive. I'm not going to judge anybody for not being sustainable and shopping where they can and what is most available and affordable for them. I have personally shopped from AliExpress because I have seen some items such as like a purse that is like $9 on AliExpress that a website is selling for $50. So with all of that being said, let's head on to Cider's website. So I'm on their website now and I will say their advertisements and their Instagram and stuff is really, really cute. I do love the way that they advertise and all their models are really cute as well. One thing that I always see Cider promoting is these Heartwave sweaters. They do come in a variety of colors. Now I won't lie to you guys, I have seen this sweater on AliExpress for probably $20 or less. They're selling it for $35. I mean, it is a really cute sweater. In Ariella's video, I did remember her saying that their shipping did take a long time and I can see that as it says, pre-ordered estimated to ship by March 15th through April 15th. This top right here, the long sleeve bra shaped top, this is also another reason why 
why I kind of hate websites like this. This is literally ripping off a different company that sustainably makes clothing and it's just not cool for websites like this to rip off clothing. I know some people want dupes of it. It is really unfair to the designers who make this, especially because they are not getting any compensation for this and they designed it. I mean, I won't lie. I see the appeal from their website. It is all super, super cute stuff. Oh, here is another stolen brand. It's pink and purple zebra print trousers, but I do own the same exact pair of pants from I'm Gia. So I'm gonna take a second to look at their website and see if I like any of these items. Later. I have picked out 11 items in total that I'm going to order, which is gonna come out to a whopping $298. This is all for you guys. Hopefully it's worth it. Like I said, there is a lot of stuff that is not in stock and it is pre-order. So I did try to dwindle down my cart to things that were already in stock. I'm just gonna go ahead and order these and hopefully we'll be getting them sooner rather than later. Do I do the expedited shipping? It is 12 extra dollars. You know what? I'm gonna do expedited and YOLO, swag, whatever. It's for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. And we're paying and it's processing. My order is now placed. I did expedited shipping. We shall see how quickly my items come. I will see you guys then. 2,000 years later. Hi guys. It has been approximately one month since I filmed the last video clip that you just watched. As you guys know, I placed my cider order on March 4th and it is currently April 6th. As I clarified, I did get express shipping because I wanted it to come as quickly as possible and I ended up choosing items that were already in stock that way that they would just come immediately. But was I wrong? <laughs> I did not think express shipping would literally be one whole month because otherwise I would have saved my $13. Thank you, Miss Mama. On March 27th, I got an email that says your order has shipped. Some shipments of your order were temporarily out of stock or they were pre-order items, which like I said, I did order items that were in stock. Apparently in the entire month that I was waiting for them to ship, they went out of stock, which <laughs> just have no words for that. But wait, they did say, please accept a 10% discount code as an apology for the inconvenience. <laughs> so you can spend more money at our store and wait another month for your items to ship. Thank you, Cider. Already not very happy with them because of the situation, especially since I paid $13. Also, yes, I am drinking grape Celsius and I know so many people hate grape flavored, but like grape is premium. Fucking fight me over it, okay? Honestly, I'm feeling really aggressive already because it is number one, airy season, my season, y'all. There's just aggression in the air. It's about to go down, sweetie. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, girls, gays, and days, let's hop right into this haul. So here's everything I got. Along with my items, they also sent some stickers, which I'm not gonna lie, these are actually kind of cutie. Totally makes up for the one month shipping. Mathematics, love. I'm gonna start off with their most iconic item on the website. I did end up ordering the long sweater in blue and then a little sweater vest in the pink. Smells like chemicals. It does feel like nice quality. I'm actually shocked. I did end up ordering this in a large, but honestly, this doesn't seem like a large to me. Now, I will say I do have the same sweater from AliExpress. Looking at the two of them, this is literally the exact same sweater. Fabric feels the same. The quality feels the same. This stuff is all probably coming from the same exact factory. It just has the cider label on top of it. If you want to order this stuff, it might be better to just order it from AliExpress and it might even come quicker than you would think. Here she is, everyone. It is actually, like I said, pretty nice quality. It feels really thick. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I actually do really love the sweater. I think it's absolutely adorable. I think their sizes are quite problematic. Here is the large, I had it tucked in. I don't really love saying what size I am online, but for the progress, Porpoise, I literally cannot speak today. For the porpoise of this video, normally an extra small, and this is, ow. This is a size large on me. I feel like their sizes are kind of problematic. Not okay in this day and age, sweetie. On to the next one, hey, hey. Next item, this is something that I did see ads for and other influencers have that I really wanted. Okay, again, this is actually better quality than I thought it was gonna be. Does care instructions, ask your mom. She'll know what to do with it. I find that highly problematic. The misogyny is just real. Actually, part wool, alpaca, and polyester, which I guess is 
pretty nice material. Okay, honestly, I really love this sweater. I think this is really cute, and I won't lie, I'm really obsessed with it. Quality is very nice, like I said, it's very thick. I was actually, again, shocked that this was made out of wool for the price point. Again, not sure how ethically made this item is. I ordered this in a medium, and I do feel like this is, like, a good size medium. I don't think that the sizing is off on this one. I'm gonna give this one literally, like, a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Cider. You have one point on you now. Up next, we have this top, which I was really excited for as well. Pleasantly shocked by the quality of this sweater. It feels like a nice little fuzzy soft blanket. Yet again, this is cute. All right, like this is really freaking cute. I ordered this in a size small. How I would style it is probably just tucking this in a little bit. This is one of their best sellers. I can see why. Body yada yada yada. One more point for you, Cider. Hate to admit it. Up next, we have the um, stolen design shirt, which I did want to get just to see what the quality was. I don't really support that, I don't really like that. If you're looking for a dupe, this is one of them. This shirt feels extremely cheap compared to the rest of the items, and that might just be due to the fact that it's not a knit item. It just seems very off. This is a size small, and this looks like it's not gonna fit. What the hell? <laughs> Listen, this is just, this is just not it. This is what this top is supposed to look like. This is literally just expectations versus reality. It's just like the, the torso, the boobies. This is probably the most unflattering top I've ever put on my body. The actual real designer top is so beautiful, so stunning, and this is just not, this is just not it for me. I'm taking it off. It is so bad. This is literally a zero for me. The last top that I purchased is this cute little knit flower top. I will say this top definitely does not feel like good quality. It feels very cheap, almost like plasticky. I was actually so excited for this top. I feel like it's something that you would see at Zara. I already have a little bit of a itty bitty titty community going on. I just feel like this is not doing a lot for the girls. My boobs look kind of like lumpy and like not cute. The actual daisies itself, I feel like are good quality but i'm concerned if you wash these that they would fall off they don't feel like they're very secured on here next up we have two dresses this is the style of the dress obviously i feel like you guys have seen them they've been very popular online recently here is the orange dress that i was so excited for but am uh, just like a little or maybe a lot let down by. This dress only came in small, medium, and large, and this is definitely too big on me. It's not flattering at all. If it had more shape to it, I think it'd be a lot cuter. You can literally just even see like the texture of my underwear through the dress. Yes, it was only $24, but I just don't feel like this is really worth it. Again, the booby region, she is just, she's not in her prime. I look like a 12 year old boy. This is a no for me. Uh. First of all, why does this smell like literal chemicals? I feel like you're literally gonna be able to see my hoochie coochie. This also, I feel like doesn't have really the shape that it did online. <laughs> I just don't even know where to begin with this one. This is what I ordered versus this is what I got. I feel like I'm wearing a potato sack. I feel like Dobby the elf. A million times no. It is just such bad quality. First of all, if you can literally see my underwear right through here, you can honestly see my skin through it. It does not fit at all. It needs to be a lot more cinched in. In no way, shape, or form what I ordered online. Moving on to bottoms. You got them ample bottom giant dream boots with the fur. These are paper thin. These do not seem like the material that they were online. Here are the checkered orange pants. Like I said, these pants are very thin material and this sizing is completely off. These are absolutely huge on me. Like as you guys can see, there's a lot of room up here. It's a no for me. Up next is the heart pants, which online looked like they were denim. Actually, this is a really weird material. This feels like a curtain. Like, uh... These pants, when I put them on, they kind of just feel like cardboard. They don't really have any movement. They're just very stiff. These pants, literally, they don't fit. Again, normally I'm a size extra small, but if I do order a size small, it won't be too much of a difference, but these are just actually humongous on me. Like, do you guys see my crotch? 
the, the length of like crotchal fabric, it's just not it. Last pair of pants is this brown tie-dye pair, which actually does seem to be denim, but a very bad quality pair of denim. I swear everything has an extremely strong chemically smell. Kind of concerned for my brain cells. And surprisingly, they do fit on my body. I am shocked. They're definitely not the most amazing quality and they kind of are still a little bit big on me. These do make my legs look a little weird. As you guys can see, I just feel like they're very like stiff straight. They don't really have a lot of shape to them. They don't make my butt look good. These jeans do come in small to extra large, but I was reading the reviews and a bunch of people were saying that the sizing was completely off. Someone said, I love these pants. I'm usually a 23, 20 for a waist in a small somehow is tight which that is just extremely problematic another person said I'm normally a medium but I couldn't get these past my thighs I feel like if anything a brand really needs to hit the nail on the head with sizing and I just feel like cider is really off on their part sizing and fit is just very important like if something fits nicely it makes me want to keep it even if I don't love the design that much it's just a no for me love it's just a no for me all right, y'all, I gave it a day to let my feelings and thoughts really just sink in about how I feel about cider. I mean, as you can see, I am wearing this sweater. This sweater brings me serotonin. I'll probably be wearing it for the next 10 to 12 business days straight. Cheers to this sweater vest. She's cute, okay? So I wrote out on my notes app a rating from zero out of 10. To clear the air, I'm not trying to slander cider whatsoever. I truly just wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on this brand. For their shipping and customer service, I gave them a zero out of 10. From their PR team reaching out to me, from their shipping and handling, how they only gave me a 10% discount code for making my order extremely late after paying $13 for express shipping, I just feel as though they deserve a zero. That is just my opinion. For the actual cuteness of the clothing, I'm giving them a nine out of 10. I feel like they actually do have extremely cute, extremely cute clothing. It's very trendy, it's very in style. Sizing, I gave them a two out of 10. <laughs> From reading through the comments and from my own personal experience, I do feel like their sizing is completely off. For their pricing, I'm giving them a 7 out of 10. It definitely is affordable, but again, that goes on to which the quality of the clothing, which I gave them a 4 out of 10. It is a lower price point, obviously, because the quality is really not it. But I will say there are companies that have really affordable pricing and their quality is there as well. Anyway, the real question is, do I recommend to go spend your money at cider my personal answer would be no if you're looking for some cute affordable trendy pieces that you only want to wear a couple of times definitely cider is the place for you i'm so sorry cider i really wanted to like you you just did not hit the bar for me if you guys would like me to do more videos like this or reviews or fashion videos just let me know inside the comments down below make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are not a part of the crafty dog crew yet to make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our cute little family we'd absolutely love to have you I love you guys. I'm bigger than a tug, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!